Hello everyone, Drake Robinson here. Um, so this is a video, I thought, you know, in light of some recent events, and I'll get to that in just a second. In light of some recent events, I think it, it would probably be, I thought now would be a, the, a better time than any to give my honest, uncut thoughts on the incel movement. The incel movement, because it's a, a movement that I've been linked to, and even though I never once classified myself as one, a black pillar, I, I think incel and black pillar are two different things, and I'll explain what, more, more than that. Um, so pretty much there was this uh, incel individual who actually got, who I think moderated God, I really should have looked more into it. I heard about the story. I just didn't do my own research, which I... Shame on me. I, That's my bad. I messed up there, but, you know, it's too late now. I'm already into it. Um, pretty much, he, um, he, he was in his 30s, and he got, you know... Uh, he fi lost his virginity. And, you know... And, and the big controversy is, instead of... Uh, his fellow, I guess, incel individuals being happy for him, they actually were upset by him doing so. And I'm thinking, well, if an individual, obviously we know this guy isn't, you know, a, a, a bad guy. Because if he were, he, 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 he there's no way... He, he would have went all the way into his 30s without, you know, losing his V-card. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, th this is by all means a good guy. You know, I haven't seen anything bad about him at all. Um, he lost his V-card and he uh, is in a relationship now. Now, I understand the envy. I do. I get it. I long time ago, I used to, you know, before I was black-pilled, I used to, you know, feel the same way. Because it is a little upsetting, you know, when you see things. It's just human nature. It's not even just us at all. It's everyone. The blue pillars included. When you, it's, It harkens back to your childhood. When you see people getting things that, you know, you want, and you, you, you can't get it for X, Y, and Z reasons, you get upset by it. Adults, even, are, are the same way. So, like, th this is not anything, like, reserved for any particular people. That's just a human nature trait, you know? Same thing with animals. If an animal sees one dog getting a treat and the other dog isn't, you know, the other dog's gonna be like, what the, what the F, man, to his owner. But, yeah, uh, but see, here's the thing. This is why I, I don't really necessarily... I've never at all, you know, been interested in the incel movement in particular. Why I never classified myself as one. Why I never was a part of it. Um, and th the reason being is... Is because the incel movement, I believe, has... And let me, let me say, I think 65% of, inc of incels... Are 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 hardworking, you know, God fearing individuals, you know, who make the world go round, who aren't, you know, bad, like the media, that the blue pillar media likes to portray, you know, like to amplify. Sixty five percent of those individuals, I would go so far as to say, you know, are, are just normal everyday people who are lonely, who have, you know. Have tough times, you know, finding people, you know, that care about them. They probably have no family. They probably have no, they don't go outside. And I, listen, I'm the exact same way, <laughs> you know. Um, but the difference is I'm, I'm a black pillar. And like I said, I'll get to the difference between the two. Um, yeah, so they, the 65%, I feel like, they, they, I feel so badly for them because they are having all this negative, you know, negative light pointed at them unnecessarily so like i said by the blue pillar media by some on this horrible hor horrible platform uh, social media in general because like social media is like the worst thing ever to ever happen to the world like in my opinion uh generation z all of that etc 
Yeah, but those individuals are sixty five percent. Nothing. I got nothing. You know, they they're just like us black pillars. They they, they work hard. You know, they they come home. They do every pretty much every normal thing. The only difference is they they, they seek you know the comfort from others who are going through the same thing. So you know, uh, so you know I I'm leaving the sixty five percent of them out of this uh, conversation. However, there's 35% of individuals in that movement that are just the literal... I compare it to a cow that ate, like, 400 pounds of grass and just, you know, um... Or 400 pounds of, you know, hay or whatever. And just expelled that 400 pounds. Pretty much its, its body weight expelled it all over the farmer's grass and the farmer is literally just you, you know can't believe that this cow has you know ex has just splooged that much you know uh uh compost all over his you know farmyard and so he being being by himself has to scrape it all up with just a spoon like that is literally how I would compare the 35% of of individuals in, located in that movement to that to that cow to that 400 pounds of, of cow compost because the those are the, the the worst individuals ever like they are no better than the blue pillars like they will hate on you like yeah like those 35 percent of the people who are hating on the guy for um for losing his v card they are the 35% I'm talking about. And the people who are actually congratulating him. Because a good guy actually excelled. And you know hopefully. Uh, that, that shows that good guys do. You know finally get what he deserves. And there are a couple. Not a whole lot. But there are a couple who of us who do. Um, they just expose themselves. Like it is like embarrassing some of the back and forth this guy was having on social media with some of these end of it with the 35 percent in that movement and the 35 percent also they're the reason why incels in my opinion get the worst raps ever because like they are the ones who are saying all this stuff who are advocating for all this horrific stuff and i'm just like my god these people are literally no different than the blue pillars and i say that because if one of us succeeds with something, whatever it may be, it, even in their own supposed movement, they are the quickest to hate on them. Like, calling them fake cells and all that stuff, and it's just like, uh, okay. And see, this is the difference between incels and black pillars. They're com two completely different things. See, the average, you know, the brain-dead individuals don't really understand that. Um, they, they just like to lump all of us in with one another, but we're not at all. So the black, us black pillars, we understand our positions in life. We understand that, you know, relationships, you know, may not happen for us. And we understand it. We accept it. We still have a do. We're still going to go out and, you know, do what we need to do. Because that's all we can do. But we will advocate to the younger black pillars out there that the world will not be fair to you. That females and, male, and males blue pillar ones are going to look at you a certain way they're going to treat you a certain way and that's not never going to change at all but on the other hand we we're not you know sitting around you know at, you know saying all this horrible stuff that you wouldn't say to to an individual probably ever to them directly like there are some articles i've read about me on their platforms um, on their website, it's incel dot something. Just look me up with them, and this is why I don't go on their forums because like the the things. And I'm not talking about the author who per person who put me on there because they're actually very you know very kind, very nice, and they 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 put me on there to I guess promote me. Um, but just the people I'm talking the 35 percent of you know of dirt bags. Who leave the comments and you no know, not all the comments are bad I'm sure but you know the 35% they just leave like the worst the nastiest comments about me for no reason essentially I've never had any interactions with those individuals at all 
so it's just like and you know that's why I, I just don't go on that stuff you know anymore like I, I do you know look up some things but it, it's never I don't go deep into the crevices because the deep in the crevices are worth 35 percent you know that's where their little hangout spot is and I'm just like I, I no no I'll stay up there with the 65 percent of actually nice people who for whatever reason with the 65 percent of nice individuals who, who for whatever reason allow the media who, who allow them to you know infiltrate the movement their movement and uh and pretty much just allow the blue pillar media to write all these hit pieces to let vice news write all these hit pieces about how bad and terrible all incels are and that not not one incel is ever is ever redeemable is ever a good decent person who just happens to not find um uh, connect with anyone on in person in person who may have you know very um just very be, be shy and stuff like that you know they you never hear the media talk about those incels it's only incels who say all this whole the 35 percent they say all this wildly outrageous stuff online and you know it's just it's just like yeah to the 65 percent of you uh actually decent incels out there y'all need to 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 just erase the the 35 percent get them out get them out of your movement and just expel them like what, what is the point of having them in there they're no better than the blue pillars we get we get enough blue pill hate in this world what why why do we i i don't get why y'all uh, you know allow these individuals in your movement and rot it to its core also and that's the difference us see us black pillars we wouldn't do that we wouldn't allow um we wouldn't allow you know people you know just saying all this horrible stuff what they're going to you know uh, about any particular person you know unless they actually deserved it, you know, um, you know, just pounce on, you know, it's just, this is very toxic, I don't hang around toxicity, I'm around toxicity pretty much half my life, you know, from blue pillars, and it's just, it, it is not getting any better there, but anyway, that's the main difference between incels and, and black pillars, see, that's black pillars, like I said, we understand you know our placement in the world we understand it we accept it you know we'll, we'll be around for the younger generation of black pillars who don't get it but we will we will be there to inform them um the incels however i think they live there and you know you can correct me if i'm wrong but i think they live their ideology based on sex alone we live our ideology based not just on that, but us black pillars, we live, we, I, well, at least I'm speaking for me. I see the world, the black pill is more so a way of, 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 more so of what you're born into. Not really so much an ideology you subscribe to. Um, so like, I see like the black pill more so of a thing where, you know, it's never going to change, not just with sex or you know females any of that stuff it's just you know what what you're locked into now let's say a job or 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 um you live in this place or you still live at home or whatever the case may be you're more than likely going to be trapped in there and but but us, the thing about us black pillars is we accept that we know that you know the world the world's not going to be, you know, for everyone. The world is blue-pilled. The society is privileged, blue pill run, uh, owned, and operated, you know? Blue pillars are president. Blue pillars are senators. All that stuff. Um. Just cut earlier. Sorry. Um. Yeah, and so, but the incels, they look at it more so, I, I, could, I compare them more so to red pillars, the incels, because they, um, I, I still think that, like, in the back of their mind, they have this hope that, you know, females are just gonna run up to them, and, you know, or, or they'll, they'll have this perfectly happy life, and, and the, the, the 35% I'm talking to, I'm not talking to the 65%, 
um, the, 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 that's why they get so mad that when it doesn't happen for them and they see another person get it, that's why they they just lose their minds. And I'm just like, you know, that's how toxic that is. Yeah, that's more so what a blue pillar would do. A uh, blue pillars are the entitled ones, but y'all, like I said, y'all are no better than the blue pillars. The thirty five percent of you out there. It's just, it's just, yeah. I, I've never subscribed to that ideology. I've always been a black pillar. I've always, you know, seen my, seen, you know. I've always seen the light way before, you know, the people, way before any, uh, um, any of the other ideologies will, us black pillars do. And that's why I, I just love it so much. Being black pill was the best thing that ever happened because it helped me accept my, you know, accept my placement in the world. I know what it is. I know it will probably remain. All of us smart, good guys out there, we do. The 65% of, um, sub in that particular movement y'all do as well but the 35 percent if i were y'all i you, you gotta exile them you gotta stop letting them define you know what you guys stand for and i i know 65 percent of you are are good hard-working decent people who don't talk all crazy online who don't you know allow like i said the privileged media to define you like the, the 35 percent who, who who don't get hysterical when uh when a when a good guy actually get his, his just dues you know actually you know get something out of life like that guy did you know like i said i'm a little choppy on the names but the story's out there if you want to look more into it but yeah uh, um yeah just Moral of the story, I just never identified with... I, I... Stay black pill. Get black pill if you're not. Pretty much is my, the moral of the story. You know, don't subscribe to a... Don't subscribe to an ideology if you... If you don't have... If you don't need to or you don't want to. You know, because, you know... Uh, don't let people who are supposedly in the same situation that you're in... Uh, uh, try to, you know, knock you down, because that's what blue pillars do, and the last thing anyone will want to be in this world is a blue pillar, or the, or apparently the 35% of incels, quote-unquote, in, in there. I, 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 to be fair, I'm not even going to classify them as incels, but they're more so just jerk-offs. <laughs> you know, that's what they'll do probably their whole lives, also. Um... Um, because the 65% of you out there is keep doing what you're doing, keep, you know, working hard, you know, and, uh, then, I mean, more than likely, you'll still be in the same position, but it's okay, us black pillars will be too, and, yeah, so that's my honest thoughts on the, uh, incel movement, and what, you know, uh, and don't let anything, you know, just... Don't let any, anyone define you if, you if you don't have a word in there yourself. Alright, I'm out.